at home with Lucas here. So today we're talking about Bradle. Bradle is a wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver. Yes, people, this thing has the ability to transmit up to 98 feet. Yes, also it has 5G Wi-Fi. So you're gonna be able to connect from dongle to dongle and transfer your files without any glitches. Not to mention the fact it comes with a bunch of different adapters. So you can connect this to a micro HDMI, a mini HDMI, and of course a full size HDMI. Also it has the ability to, with one click, switch from receiving to copying, which is absolutely amazing. So in this video, we're doing a hands on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said HDMI transmitter and receiver. After that, I'm gonna be putting this bad boy to the Adam Lucas test to figure out is it something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you, so have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So this is the model number TR30. There is an image of what's to come in the box. This is a wireless HD transmitter and receiver kit. That is what's up, people. Take a look at the back right here. 1080p output, it's got 5G and 2.4 gigahertz. That's awesome. All right, let's get inside this box, people. Okay, so the first thing you see is a little bit of how you're going to be doing the casting. And boom, there are the two transmitters. On the inside, you got the user manual. Then you got your box full of accessories. All right, so it looks like you have an HDMI extender right here. All right, that's awesome. It's got USB-C. Then it looks like you have an HDMI to USB. Oh, that's interesting. You have an HDMI to micro HDMI, if I'm not mistaken. That is really interesting. Then you have an HDMI to mini HDMI. All right, let's take a look at these bad boys right here so you can activate your warranty just by scanning that QR code right there. Okay, so these are very straightforward. You got a TX button right there on the back is your cap for your HDMI, that's nice. And then on the side is your USB-C, your TX and your RX. All right, let's talk about materials, first impressions. So these definitely feel uh, lightweight. Um, they feel really compact though, they don't feel real cheap. So nonetheless, we're gonna get these things reviewed. Let's jump into that. Okay, so the plug and play is absolutely real. I got this plugged into my Alienware PC. The cool thing is, with certain HDMI ports, you're not gonna have to plug in the power, which is awesome. So this is just literally plugged into my HDMI port right here. Okay, here we go. This is my Windows uh, PC right here. This is my monitor. I'm gonna transfer this over to my TV where the receiver is plugged into. This thing was also super easy to plug into the back of my TV. I just plugged it into an HDMI port. If you don't have a USB port, you're gonna have to plug it into a wall socket, but mine has a USB port, so it's good to go. Here we go, just that easy. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on a video real quick. Okay, you will have to make sure that the audio is going out of the dongle and not from your computer. So I'm gonna switch it over here to the Intel. Okay, now when we click play over here, we're gonna hear the audio come out of this TV. There we go. Just that simple. Hi, I'm Lucas here. So today we're talking about a set of coffee mugs. Yes, people, I've had my coffee mugs for so long. All right, there you go. That is working perfectly. I should mention I'm using my mouse right here to control this bad boy. So if I click, glass and everything, so I win. So there you go. Okay, here we go. I got it plugged into my projector right up here. And this is the same exact video. We're gonna go ahead and click play. And there you go, on my projector, fully working, coming out of the sound bar down below. That is awesome. Zero glitching, big thumbs up. Okay, so I just plugged it in the back of my monitor super easily right there. There's my display port cable right here, and this is the receiver. So we're gonna be testing this out to see if we can't send the image from my computer straight to my monitor. Okay, here we go. We're gonna be transmitting uh, wirelessly to this monitor. Okay, so we're gonna be taking this video right here and we're gonna fling it over to the receiver over here. Now I'm gonna go into my monitor and we're gonna switch to the receiver. I know this is very complicated, but there we go, okay. So now this is all on the receiver. 
So theoretically, if I had two monitors right here, then I could have my display point port monitor right here, and then I could have my wireless monitor over there. Uh, and this is all being run through the wireless monitor right here. Talking about the Ministone Smart. There we go, so see how easy that is. So for some reason, if you don't have an HDMI cable or your monitor is in another room from your computer, boom, you can wirelessly send it to your monitor. Super easy, you don't need a smart monitor for this at all. Okay, I've been using these bad boys for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review and let's just start off with the build quality. So these things are built really, really solid. Uh, one thing I didn't like is the fact that this is kind of big right here. Um, it's very strong, very capable, but when you go to plug it into certain devices, it's a little bit too big and I found it hitting uh, other ports that were down below with other USBs plugged into it. So that was a little bit annoying. I kind of wish that this was way, way slimmer um, or maybe that it was flexible at the tip or something. They do provide the extender USB cable, which will help out for that and you can also get some small little extender cables that are more flexible that you can plug this into and then flex into the devices um, but that was something I noticed real quick is that this is a little bit big so it's a little bit cumbersome when it plugs into the back of your monitor TV or projector or whatever you're using um, let's talk about the functionality of it this thing really really kicks butt. the ability to transmit and receive is absolutely amazing with zero glitches at all I was able to transfer you know movie files and and bunch of other stuff and it was super seamless zero glitches I was absolutely blown away by that uh, definitely worth your time and worth your money uh, if you have a situation where you have to send and receive um, files and whatnot and you don't have any other way to do it this is going to be the way to do it super easily uh, absolutely love the plug and play feature you just literally plug it in and within seconds it's good to go there were a couple times where it took a while to click over um, you will see a screen that will show that it's not connected and if you just wait a minute it will connect um, also if the lights flashing that's telling you that it's not connected the ability to just switch from extension mode to copy mode was awesome that worked out really really well uh, so all in all I'm gonna say that these are a great great uh, thing to have in your wheelhouse if you need this at times you could pull it out use it um, it's really really a great device really awesome so I'm gonna give it a solid 4.5 star rating I'm gonna say there's really nothing bad about it uh, just besides the fact that it's big uh, I wish this was a lot smaller and more tapered around this area right here but other than that phenomenal phenomenal transmitter and receiver highly recommended to everyone out there bye um all right, there you go. That's the Bradle wireless Wi-Fi HDMI receiver transmitter. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click, it, click that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 8K. Yes, people, on my way to 10K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.